back to Clown. I thought it was time for another quick, really quick update on a couple of the things that's been going off since the last time I was here. So, our last video, and if you remember, they were just measuring out, um, building this um, mock-up bit of old platform just to try and show people how it all how it all fitted together, like where the platform was, etc. Get a good view of the, the profile that that's been done. If it's go out today, and if that's a good thing, it's just going up and down the ramp. Hey, come this way. God. If anyone's not yet met my lunatic of a dog. What are, you doing, what are you up to today then, Adam? What's your, um, what's your plans for today? I'm going to do the ramp for here, so it continues down. So it's going to be the same thickness as these slabs, and it will go down, and it will meet that sleeper with any luck. All the idea is, it's just so when you stood up at the top, you look down and it looks like a platform and not yeah. the flower bed as a lot of people keep thinking. Really. Yeah, or just a mound of overgrown grass and weeds. Yeah. These slabs will carry on down as a slope and I'll carry this pattern on because this is based on the same platform what we uncovered in there oh yeah yeah oh, you see this don't you remember we saw that at Fledbury didn't we yeah I think yeah I'm just trying to recreate it a little bit but I've got to clean it up and, and point it up with with um, black dye in the in the mortar to make, match it up a little yeah. bit yeah that's really good that have you done all this yourself then yeah Adam? yeah wow just um, like an amateur really yeah, but I it helps that the idea. bricks are, are, uh, are aged, aren't they, and, yeah. uh, and weathered, but I nah, thought it was really good, that. We've just been donated uh, 10, kilogram, 10 kilograms of grass seed from Clown Garden holders, so, oh, right. oh. so I want to thank them for that. Excellent, yeah. yeah. So cheers to the Clown, what are they? Clown Garden holders. Garden holders, like yeah. the allotments. Uh, they used to be at yeah, this little shop on the corner of Road. Ah, okay. Oh, I just walked past it. They've yeah. got like the plant pot men and stuff in the window, haven't they? Yeah. Yeah. Scary yeah. Mary, yeah. yeah. Got some photographs from uh, while well, in the time since I've been here last. They've had the scaffolding back up on the front. And I don't know if you can see the leftmost window. That was just an old rotten whiteboard before. Um, but they've got a mock up window. On the front of there now that's quite good uh it's gonna have a walk up with the ramps to have a look at something on the side window so we're on the pink no a black square surround yeah it's a mock-up so what's what was behind that then when you took the rotten board off that one well it will mark the rock took it off and there's a photo he's took of um, the original window frame and it's got frosted glass on it yeah and it's quite nice I'll send you the photo of what, what he took, but they've put this board on just to try and make it look a bit more authentic. Authentic, yeah. Just need to paint a little, little bit of an edge round, but other than that, it looks it, it'll be done. It's the street outside. I say as well, somebody. I keep referring to the clock, the side the clock's on. To me, that's the front of the station because it's where. Everything seems to happen, it's where the station is. But yeah, I keep calling it at the front. Of course, the front would be the station front on the street behind, so this is like the platform side. So quite a few people pulled me up on that point. Just fetched the new torch to give it a try. It's the debut of the torch. Don't know if it's going to be any good. Get a good look at the roof, can't we? Well, 
looks like opening to Mr. Bean when you do that. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? And here's the, here's the brick where it was infilled. So that's just the, we're about under the roundabout, aren't we? Yeah. And looking back there is the road that goes down the side of where Wilco's was, in between Wilco's and Aldi, isn't it? I don't know what they were trying to achieve digging under there. <laughs> Maybe they're trying to break into Wilco's. Yeah. So no signs of the, the portal then, is there? No. No, portal uh, bricks, end of the tunnel. So when I do these videos, I always like to uh, do a little bit more, whether it be have a look at the, the um, Remembrance Day Memorial, have a look at the old station, etc. I'm just gonna have a walk down Clown Greenway on the adjacent railway line today, just to have a look at a piece of this line as it leaves Clown at the other, at the other side. Now we know that the line from here, well we've just seen the tunnels all bricked off at the end and it's infilled through Clown, around the side of Tesco, if you know Clown, but it does emerge a little bit further up. So we're gonna go and have a look at a bridge. So I'll tell you, we'll take, we're gonna have a walk down the Greenway now. Yeah, so I always like to do a little bit more when I come to uh, see the station restoration, just to fill you in a little bit more about the area. So I've just been having a look through the, um, the Clown Local History Society photo album uh, with Adam and then just uh, took a few snaps of a few photographs of this old station on the middle and line. Now, this railway line did survive quite a bit, quite a bit later. This wasn't pulled up till uh, about 12 years ago the tracks was pulled up on here. Um, there's some nice old photographs that'll fade in to the footage of this old station. This is another one of the, the guy's old project, Clown Local History Society. Let's keep busy. Beautiful day, isn't it? Makes a change. It's not been great all week. Windy and rainy. It's going under Station Road. Um, but there is a nice photograph. I'm not exactly sure where it's taken from. Roughly around this angle, I think. And I always say the same thing when I come down here. I absolutely love the, the scale of these cuttings. And I can with it with it being as well on a on a decent gradient. And I'd love to have been around to uh, to hear the echoes of the of the engines coming through here. And this is Bowton Lane Bridge. Now I've always pronounced it Borton. Lane, Bowton Lane. I've heard both pronunciations. I think it's actually pronounced Booton, which is actually as it appears on the old maps. Um, just coming up to uh, to what would have been junction um, with Balbara Colliery that went off to the right here, and there's a lovely old photograph that I've just uh, just been shown um, by Adam. It's taken from taken from the bridge we've just gone under um, looking down the line where it separates so the photo was taken from that bridge and you can see where um, the land starts to open out here where we start the line starts to separate and there's still bits of evidence from the signaling from this junction now i think on that old photograph it's only it only goes to double line whether or not that's a passing loop or something i'm not sure we've still got all this old uh, remains from from the junctions and the point where it's and signaling that was around here and here's what i've just come down to see a couple of uh, a pair of bridge abutments so the line that went through the clown station this is the line that's about to come over the top 
of the old railway line we're walking on. Show you on a map, show you what I'm talking about. So there's the station and the tunnel that we've been looking at on the bottom line there. And we've been walking along the top line, which is now the Clown Greenway. And if we zoom out, we can see where the two lines intersect. And that's the bridge that we're, uh, we're looking at at the moment. And this is just, just leaving Clown. So the same type of brick, isn't it? With these, you know, these two bridge abutments. Rightly, I've seen a picture of this. I'm just trying to uh, jog my memory. This steel girder span that went over over the top. So we can see from the angle, can't we, that that our railway line from the old clown station is at a skew. And you might cycle down there, down here, down the clown greenway often or uh, and you've seen these bridge abutments but weren't really sure what they were for so just for some context going that way is back to clown where we've just been inside that tunnel and that way um goes down through Spinkill, out through Baton, onto Roller Valley Country Park I suppose ultimately Sheffield let's just have a quick nosy up on the on the top on the track bed it's always a challenge throw in with the dog and a lead I don't want to let him off because there is quite a few cyclists going backwards and forwards but let's have a look up here we should be able to uh, just get a glimpse on the track bed so here we are just uh, up from one of those abutments that's a clown greenway just underneath so this was the track bed and that's the side of the embankment And here's that stamp. We see this stamp in quite a few places. Can't read it on there. Is this one any better? Joseph Hamlet, if that's 1895. I think it's a little bit faded. Anyway, I just wanted to show you that. I thought it was worth a little, little wander up to see that remains of that old bridge. So uh, I'll land back to the station. Right, hope you enjoyed that little update video, short and sweet. So until next time, take care, thanks for watching, see you soon.